Good morning, Cyber Traders. Oh my God. What's her how's everybody doing this morning, huh? Another uh another day at uh, another day in trading, huh? Good to see everybody. Good morning, everyone. Jesus, my God, it's getting worse and worse and worse. I'll tell you, um you know, I gotta tell you, I gotta be honest with you. When you've been around as long as I have, over 25 years doing this, and you've been through the 9-11, you know, with the Twin Towers coming down. You've been through, uh, you know, uh, Hurricane Sandy. You've been through the financial crisis. You've been through the Internet bubble. Um, there's a very, very big, big part of, like, where things get very depressing, you know, really gets very depressing. And then, and then there's the opposite effect. It's like, where can I find more money? Where, how much cash do I have on hand? What am I looking to buy? You know, because we will come out of this. We will come out of it. You know, this whole coronavirus thing is like, it just, like, listen, the market's halted. And, you know, I hate repeating myself. But I felt like I said I told you so that, that nothing is going to bring this market down unless there's a catastrophe. And let me tell you, we damn got it. This is like – I hate to say it, but it's like you know, be careful what you wish for because it really did happen. Um, and it is just getting decimated. My god, things are just getting crushed. Um you heard about Carnival Cruise Lines. They halted for, 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 for two months now. Uh, Viking uh, Cruise Line also just announced it. Uh, I book, I canceled my trip. I mean, I thought I had a good deal yesterday with Delta. And I'm like, you know what? I called them up to get on the phone. It was a six-hour wait. NBA canceled. I mean, 30 days, you know, halt in uh, – you know, if, uh, to go to Europe, you know, President Trump just made that announcement. I mean, it's really, really bad, you know. Uh, and, and you know what's funny? Like when I was telling you guys, like, like people talking to the side of their mouth, you know, I'm like, oh, no, everything's fine. Everything's fine. But like they don't want to cause cause this mass hysteria. That's basically what it was. So you had to read between the lines. So yesterday, you know, I had Ferrari. I had Delta. I had uh I had it for about I, – I went long all these positions. Um, I had um, CSQ. I had – what else did I buy? I bought a bunch of other stocks. I bought uh, – uh, I bought uh, – what else did I get? I bought this Gosh trade that I'm actually getting hit on right now. I thought I was going to kill it yesterday, and then this news came out. Um, so I was making a killing yesterday. Now I'm like I'm I'm losing – you know, 10 cent, I'm losing 10 cents on it. Um what else did I buy? I bought uh, I bought Apple and I bought Snapchat. So anyway, I sold everything. I sold everything yesterday when the market was back down about thousand. And I'm like, and I was so ticked off at myself. I'm like, Timmy, like, like I, I felt like I got, you know, like I thought that was the bottom. I thought this was it. He says, you know what? Enough's enough. Smartest decision I ever made. Smartest decision I made by getting out of the. Uh, out of it. February 20, Trump called coronavirus to 19 and Dems called it a hoax, William. Uh, you know what? I I I just hope I just I hope, I hope things get a little bit better. No politics, please. All right, because it's a little more serious than what it really is. I just hope that everyone could get get along together and get their act together because this is this is ridiculous now, and it's starting to get real. That's starting to get real. So anyway, um, I don't know if we're really out of it. For a while, I mean, all our schools got closed here on Long Island. I don't know where you are, but they're closing them one by one. I think about 20 percent of the schools are closed. And uh, it's weird because they said if one person has it, 10 people get it and 10 people get it, 100 people going to get it and 100 people get it, 1000 people going to get it. You know, so it's really a trickle down. So it's just a matter of time when they're probably going to start quarantine everybody like what happened in Italy. And I, and I could see it happening. So anyway, regarding about trading, let's get to the point. All right. I'm not looking to run a talk show here, but I'm telling you, I am literally I, I was talking to my wife this morning. I dropped my kids off at school and we talked about it. And I said, my God, there's going to be some of the greatest opportunities to make so much money in the market. We're going to get through this. At the end of the day, listen, the whole world's not going to die, all right? Um, 
But I'll tell you one of the things you want to be focused on. And I've been watching every TV show, every every uh, financial station. I was up till two o'clock in the morning, and I'm exhausted. Yeah, I really am. I don't know if you can see. If you guys can't watch the video, but I'm I'm literally exhausted. You know when it. You know when it's going to be time to buy. Watch and listen when you're going to see buybacks. Watch and learn. Uh, and get ready to buy because companies are going to be are in cash. The economy is doing great, okay, we, until this damn catastrophe happening. You're going to see the, be, the, the best way you got to look at what to buy, look at buybacks. Buybacks are what you want to focus on if a, because they have a lot of cash on hand. Instead of go buying a building, they'll buy their stock for 80% off. Why would you not do that? And this is how I'll explain it to you. It's the easiest way to explain it to you. This is how you guys got to look at it. If your house is worth a million dollars, okay, a million dollars, just use that number. Because imagine, wow, some of you are like, wow, my house is worth more. My house, my house is not worth that much. Listen, you had a million dollar house, and you wake up two days later, let's say 30 days later, and it's worth 200000 okay, would you buy back your house? Or would you sell it at 200? What would you do? Is 200 a deal, or would you buy your bad house back for 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 200? It's the dumbest question and the stupidest answer. You would buy 10 of your houses for that price because you know what it's worth. You're not going anywhere. You get you're happy where you are. You know you know what it's worth. And you know what? If you could buy that house again, why would you not? It's exactly what's going to happen to the stock market. So what I'm telling you right now. Listen and watch for buybacks. All right. Now, what happened yesterday? Listen, we were trading in the after hours. Um, we were trading. We did a class yesterday, and we made we made a lot of money yesterday trading. We had a good little bounce. We traded Delta. We traded everything. But listen, this is why you got to be a good day trader because if you held those positions, you would have got crushed. So anyway, those stocks literally were down. We, we bought them. We traded them. We did really well yesterday. You can see uh, AO, uh, a lot of you guys were trading this one. I mean, I was just talking to Josh. We were talking about his favorite stock in the world is, is U.S. Steel. My God, look, I, I can't believe it's at $6. This is like this is like horrible. Um, but there are some really, really good buys out there. Um, I mean, how much lower could it go? Zero? I mean, we only you're only like five dollars away. But so many of them out there. I mean, just look at like uh, NC uh, LH. Oh my God! Thank God. You know what? I had this stock yesterday. We were trading it yesterday. Um, we got, we got out of it, thank God. You know, we we lost a tiny bit. I was doing a lesson on showing how stock was making a lower low, and uh, and look where it is. So we had that one, Royal Caribbean. I I sold that stock yesterday, at uh, I sold it yesterday at like forty. Why did I sell it? Yeah, I got out at forty. I sold that 40. Yeah, I sold that 46. I had it at 48. Jesus, thank God. 33. I'm telling you, there's gonna be some crazy, crazy, crazy buys, guys. All right. So, uh, anybody heard of APT? Anybody know what this stock does? APT. All right. Some of you do, some of you don't. Okay, so let me tell you about APT. I want you to keep a very close eye on this stock because APT makes respirators. Okay, so I, I don't know if you guys know anybody in the medical industry. I know we have some doctors here, but apparently uh, the hospital, uh, my, my sister-in-law works at a hospital here on Long Island, and she said they have only 15 respirators that, that are made by APT. 15, that means that... They can only take care of 15 people. Could you imagine if there's a, a huge catastrophe? That's one of the reasons why APT took off. So they are the ones that are known to make the respirators. These are the things that help clean out your lungs. Big, big uh, uh, respirators, like 10 years old. This is a, a very, very uh, – I mean – Things are going to trickle down to all these stocks, so I would keep an eye on that one. That one's moving pretty well. Uh, what else did I have? I had a bunch of other ones too. 
uh, APT I'll keep an eye on that. POAI is another one that's gapped up about 58%. Another cheap little stock. We traded this one not too long ago. This one's moving pretty well. CEMI. Another one right here popped, came back down. INO. We all know that one very well. That one's moving pretty nicely. So, uh, but extremely volatile. And then obviously you got all these ETFs. I mean, they're just all just take, look at this stock. This one's up $300. It was less than $30 just the other day. Thing, it swung literally 100 points yesterday, 100 points. You know, I, just feel, I feel like I'm watching uh, Tesla all over again. So, I mean, the list is on and on and on. This is what I recommend you guys to do. The market's halted, and it's going to probably be halted again, which is, you know, historic. Uh, but I would be really, really careful what you're trading, okay? This is – I never – you know, I was actually talking to uh, Trade Station yesterday, and they said they are making – they are having a record, record um, – uh, you know, uh, uh, of trading going on. The most they ever had, I, I mean, they're probably in history, and I'm telling you right now, that's one stocks I would keep an eye on. Keep an eye on all the brokerage stocks because people are trading like crazy right now. So how do they make money? Trading. So keep an eye on, um, if there's one, so some of the stocks you want to keep on, like Schwab, you know, uh, TD Ameritrade, E-Trade, all these stocks, keep an eye on, on, the, on the brokerage stocks because you know, online brokers are actually getting hammered right now with crazy t uh, ticket charges. People are, are trading like crazy. So obviously, there's a lot of payment for order flow going on. I would keep an eye on that. A lot of, uh, except Robinhood. Yeah. Are they are they open? I don't even know. I don't even trade them. I, I know they, they shut them down. Uh, I don't know. I mean, they got shut down. They, they were crashing. But, um, but any of those stocks are going to do pretty well when it comes out of it. But I would just say this. I've been through this. Back in, you know, my last time I was in this was a financial crisis. Uh, I just seen things get just get hammered. I seen Citibank go from $33 down to a dollar. So uh, I don't think this is as bad as the financial crisis uh, because that is a financial crisis. This is more of just a damn stupid little virus. And we're going to get through it when it gets done. You know, we're going to, you know. We're all going to be here, and we're all going to spend money, and we're all going to have jobs, and we're all going to do fine. So just be, just make sure you guys uh, are in cash, all right? Yeah, market's halted right now. Just see how much lower it's going to drop. Probably going to drop about 2,000 points again. All right, everyone. Any questions? Crazy day. Absolutely. I don't like having meetings like this, but I got to look at got to look at the bright side. Don't trade too much. Trade too long, and trade to, and trade too big. Jerry, you know what? Very well said, Jerry. Very, very well said. You know what? We did the advanced class. We did phase three. And realistically, we were sitting on our hands most of the time because you really can't do anything. You got to sit back and just watch. All right, guys, good luck. If we see something, just be very careful. This is my goal, my, my, my recommendation. Just scalp trade. Scalp, scalp, scalp. Do not hold positions overnight. You're going to have great opportunities to buy at support. Boom, sell at resistance. Buy at support. Boom, sell at resistance. I, I never, I haven't traded this amount, of, um, this amount of trading in about, I don't know, probably like 10 years. I did more tickets in 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 the past two weeks than I probably did in three four months. All right, I'm talking like, you know, hundreds. Okay, trades I've done, and not even like thousands, tens of thousands of shares I'm getting into positions. So I, I've done very well. I'm doing really really well. But the thing is, you got to scalp. Do not think you found the bottom yet because we don't know where it is yet, but we will. All right. Good luck, everyone. Happy trading. And uh, we'll see you. Uh, we'll start commentating in about 10 minutes when the market opens up. And don't forget today. Today, we got a big event today. I know you guys don't want to miss this. We got open house. <laughs> so, uh, you, we, you know, every Thursday, we're going to talk about the market. We're going to try to we're gonna, we have a bunch of people coming in to do an open house. Come out there. Obviously, we'll talk a lot about it. So you don't want to miss that too. All right. Good luck, everyone. Happy trading.